Okay, hello guys. I had just had surgery on my hand, trigger finger, and I'm drugged up pretty good. But this is driving me crazy, and I wanted everybody to know how this works. These things are really nice, but they have two major flaws. One, you can only have one device that it can be on. You can't mix it another house with this house. It won't let you do it. And changing the Wi-Fi's is insane. They should be able to have a little option that says change Wi-Fi. Can you imagine every time you needed a new Wi-Fi on your cell phone, you have to restore it to factory so you can make it work. It's crazy. But let me show you how to do it. This was on another system before, another Wi-Fi, and I just put the Google Wi-Fi in. But here's how you do it. Unplug it. You gotta put it into factory. So there's a little reset button. You gotta hold that reset button. And trust me, I looked everywhere on the internet. Everybody's got it wrong. While you're holding it down, you plug it in, and you gotta hold it for five seconds. You see the light's blue? As soon as it starts to blink, orange, it's blinking. You think you're done? Not even close. You have to wait. And it's gonna take a good minute we're going to have to just wait until it does it. Come on, be patient. This is where I lost patience. If you're trying to find it now, you're never going to find it. Yeah, now it's solid. You think you're ready? Nope, you're not. you got to wait more. You're waiting for it to blink blue and green. Well, blue and blue and some other color, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, it's blue and green, you can hardly tell. But you have to wait almost a minute. Then, all you do is you go to your Wi-Fi settings. <clears throat> you go to Wi-Fi, and you look for something that says Wemo. And it's still not there, so I didn't wait long enough. So just wait, it will show up. There it goes. See how long that was? almost a minute. So it says Wemo switch. Now you, you, you log on to your Wemo switch, close that, go over to the Wemo app, forget about the instruction thing. Just go to the Wemo app and it'll automatically know it's looking. And there it is. You should see that screen right there. Okay? Now you can just change whatever name you want it to be. So I'm just going to call it anything right now, just to make it, I'm going to call it, uh, <clears throat> I really don't even need this one anymore. So I'm just going to call it test. There you go, you can take a picture of it, who cares? I got test. And you continue, hit next, and now it's going to try and set it up. And you wait, and you wait, and you wait, and you wait, and it even tells you to please wait, please wait even more. You try to rush through this, you make yourself crazy. If you try reading the instructions, they're not right. If you listen to other people on the internet, they're not right either. Or if there is somebody right, you can't find them. Yeah, see the checkbox? Okay. And I should have, and I don't have it. Where is it? <laughs> you have to wait. It should be something that says test. Refresh it, pull it down. It did, I'm waiting, just wait. There it is, test. Okay? If you hit test, if you hit the, the, the uh, little pencil thing and you go over to it, now it wants a firmware update. How do you like that? So I'm going to say okay. So let it do its firmware update. And that takes time too. The other thing to notice, note is, there's a section in here where, I forgot what I was going to tell you. I took way too many pain pills. But if you see it, it's on the, if you see it's on the wrong Wi-Fi, you have to, yeah, I'm going to go to an older one, another one for now. You have to tell it to forget the network. But you know what? It's working. I'm going to click done. 
and it's clicking on and off. There we go. It's working. Beautiful. Now, I'm going to teach you how to do the switches. Give me one second. Okay, I'm back. I'm not going to actually set this one up, but I'm going to tell you, it's a, you can't unplug this one. But on the bottom here, it has two little switches. You could hardly see them. I don't know where they show it on the internet how to do it, but basically what you do is to put it into factory mode. You push the one on the right once, and then you push the little one on the left, and you hold it for five seconds until this thing starts blinking. And you know what? Just wait a minute. It goes through some crazy light setup, blinking, 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 but you gotta wait almost a full minute. And, when it, and then you'll find it on the Wi-Fi. You, you pick the Wemo switch, you go back over to the app, it'll pop up, you can give it the name and you're done. That's a factory reset, you lose everything. But nowhere did I find about this little tiny, there's a switch on the right and a switch on the left. So, so just remember, the one on the right, you just click it once. The one on the left, you hold it for about five or six seconds until you see the light starts to blink. And after that, you still got to wait a minute before you can do it. And I think that makes it life easier. Okay, bye. One more thing I forgot to tell you that's important. When you go to set up the very first one, there'll be a, uh, a checkbox that says, remember network or forget network. You want to, the very first one you want to say, don't remember it. So once you get the first one set up, when you get to the second one, then you say, yes, remember it. Once the first one's working good, then the next one you want to say, yes, remember it. And then every one after that, it'll automatically remember the network. Because if you accidentally put one on a different Wi-Fi, then it erases all the ones that you just did. They'll just be gone. They might be there somewhere buried, I don't know where, but it'll make you crazy. So just make sure the very first one, say don't remember network, and you do, go to do the second one, say remember network, and after that, that question will never even come up to choose a network. It'll always find it for you. All right? Have fun.